When word got out Anchorage was severely short on school bus drivers, Clark Vermillion didn't hesitate. I had the opportunity to help and the time to give. The former construction safety professional came out of retirement to apply for a job as a school bus driver and he's finding there's a lot to learn. The bus is the easy part. It's the stuff when you're out driving on the road and you got 42 drivers coming at you from different directions and now you got to remember, oh, I got a student stop and I got a student pickup and oh, and I got a railroad crossing and then holy smokes, here's a car going 40 miles an hour the wrong way. It may sound daunting, but Vermillion is willing to take it on. He's already finished the required 20 hours of classroom training. Now he just needs a little more practice. Three. Two, one, Ugh, a little abrupt. Behind the wheel. Hard stop, successful. Testing the brakes is an important safety check for drivers. Another skill, learning how to parallel park a 40-foot bus. Once again, Vermillion has done a fine job. How close was I to the wall on the turn? Six, eight inches. So I was good. Mm -hmm. Vermillion is almost ready to take his commercial driver's license test that will enable him to become a school bus driver. It's a process that takes about three weeks, requires a background check and a drug test. Now he's working with his instructor to bus, verbalize the steps the to safely pick up stop. students. Open the doors, activate reds, check the traffic has stopped. Vermillion says his goal is to be as good as he can be and learn to do the job right. It's all about taking care of the students, and I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Hopefully, they'll have the chance very soon. ASD is hoping they will have enough drivers by the end of October, but the situation is fluid, and they're actively encouraging people to apply. You can do that online at the ASD website. Lauren Maxwell, Alaska's News Source.